Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men and the topic for this specific video is justified and unjustified jealousy. So here is the thing that tends to happen in today's world. 90% of the jealousy that is expressed out there is unjustified. The primary goal of jealousy is to protect a couple or a family, okay? So sometimes there is a real danger, or a real threat to the relationship, to the couple, to the strength of your connection with your lover, with your partner. Suppose that you have a couple of children together and she starts falling in love with another guy, the chance of her eventually running away with this guy might be high or they might be really low, okay? So there are lots of situations in life where you are going to get um, to have a jealousy outbreak, you're going to get triggered in situations that are not really threats for the relationship. You know, for instance, you take an example where your girlfriend or your wife might be having a chat with a colleague, right? And you can see that there is a little bit of flirting going on, but there is no chance of this guy becoming a lover or a potential partner for that woman. Okay, so you might be seeing that and you, you, you might overreact. In the process of overreacting, you are going to actually sabotage the connection that you have with your lover or your partner and create a whole wave of negative emotions that eventually are going to, you know, are going to negatively impact on your relationship. So, unjustified jealousy, you have lots of examples. Like, for instance, if you are, you know, having a drink somewhere and she just checks a guy passing by. You know, you don't have to freak out about it. You can be like, yeah, she's attracted to other men. It doesn't mean that she's going to run away from them, with them, you know. It simply means that there is a certain amount of uh, sexual light, sexual energy or light flirt going on sometimes between a woman and another man. And that's not a real threat for your relationship, okay? So if you try to over-control over-educate and you enter into reactive mode, into victimization mode or whining mode in situations that are not appropriate, where there is no real danger or threat for your relationship, you are going to kill your relationship. This is why so many people break up uh, under the pressure of jealousy issues. It's simply because you are going to put too much pressure on the woman, too much controlling patterns, too many demands that are going to sabotage your connection with, with that woman. And so if you check, you know, you take a moment to pause when you are getting reactive in a, and you are having a jealousy outbreak, you can take a moment to pause and, and ask for yourself, is this jealousy right now that I'm feeling, is it justified or is it unjustified? Okay? Is there a serious concern, a serious threat on the relationship or not? So this is the, the, first, the first thing to, uh, to understand and the first tactic that you can start using in your life. It is to try to define, is it justified jealousy? It means that is there a real threat or is it unjustified jealousy? Maybe right now, if you are a jealous guy, if you feel like you are entering into jealousy patterns, take a moment, take a white page and write down the situations that are actually real, threatening for your couple. And see if the jealousy outbreaks that you are having when you have that emotion and you bring it up in your relationship, is this a positive response that you are having or is it something that is going to negatively impact on your relationship? So this is the first question that I want to ask you. Is your jealousy justified or unjustified? And in what cases? Give me the specifics, really. Make it really specific. The other day when she did, no, 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 she went to the gym, she met that guy, no, no, no. So give me the exact situations where your jealousy will be justified and the situations where it's unjustified. I'll see you soon for another video.